What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to be going over how to play lockdown defense in NCAA 25 with live adjustments. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Drop a thumbs up on the video, show some support. It's free. If you're an OG, go ahead and comment down below. What do you want to see next? What are you struggling with? And it helps with the algorithm. Without further ado, let's get into today's breakdown. All right, we're going to be going through the basics of defense and every video will be doing the same thing. This is going to help you overall. After you watch a few videos, you will have more intelligence on the defensive side of the ball. Now, if these videos help you out and you want to show support, go down in the link in the description, get the ebook updated every single week and after every single patch or become a Patreon member and get exclusive tips that I use NCAA and Madden. Okay, enough rambling. All right, so we're going to come out on defense 425 over G. So let's say that we are in stock defense. Okay, so 425 over G, you can do this for nickel, nickel over, it don't matter. So our opponent comes out in a trips type look. Okay, so PA slot corner. That's what we're going to have. So he's going to set up PA slots corner. He's going to streak or fade the outside person. He might put the wire triangle in a flat. Okay, so this is his read. Okay, so we're going to pay attention to this. So I'm going to hike the ball. We're going to have a high low read. Try to lob that up in there. Boom. Okay, easy catch. Okay, so when we go back and look at the replay, we're going to look at high low read. Okay, so he goes down there to that, but he like goes up a little bit. So I have him on default. So at the line, that's five yards off the line of scrimmage, and he trails back to about seven yards. So you can hit that guy underneath for two to three yards every single time. Okay, so what can you do about that? It's a couple things that you can do. Okay, so on the defensive side of the ball, we can come out here to our zone drops and we can put this on 20 and we can put this on five. Now, what does that mean? So let's say that we come out and cover four palms. We're going to come out in that same type of look. So he's going to go here, put a streak. He's going to put a zig, something like that. Okay, so what you can do is you can go here and push wire triangle and shade over the top shade over the top that's going to turn these guys into curl flats so if you have him on five yards he's going to play five yards okay so instead of him trailing back like seam flats and stuff do he's going to play the real five yards if they are doing rpos you put him on zero shade over the top he's going to be jumping rpos okay so now that we shaded over the top we can go ahead and mabel so we can take uh, YY triangle triangle go to square we can put him into a hard flat it don't matter he's still going to drop back your 20 or 25 yards now I'm going to close the rest of my defense the trips is on this side so I'm in big nickel so it's a uh, safety package type adjustments so I go him put him into outside third to the left he's going to play all the way to the sidelines instead of a deep half now I'm going to close the middle of the field, push YY triangle triangle. I'm going to put him into a middle third. He's going to close the middle of the field. So now we have a Mabel on this side. Any kind of dump offs or corner routes will be bracketed. What you would want to do with your user is you want to force this guy to go to your adjustments, which is this side. So as a user, my responsibility would be to see if a run is coming. You can even do shifts right here, all that. See if a run is coming, I'm going to help with the run. If not, I'm going to come down here and bracket this. And anything that shoots back across this yellow area, I want to help with. Anything from over here that comes down and then comes back into this area, that's what I want to watch for. So if his route is going off to this side, I don't want to go over there because this is my responsibility. Okay? So I will stay right here with my user and I want to bracket anything that comes across that side of the field. So, now we're going to go, they have the play action, and we're going to try to throw this little corner route, and now we have an adjustment right there for the corner route, okay? So, we're going to look and see if our guy truly played the five yard with the shade over the top, 
So we're going to come right here. We're going to look at the trip side. So look at that. He's all over the zig. He played the true five. Remember earlier he was going back about three to four yards past the five yards. So right now he is at the five yards and he's going to be aggressively at the five yards with the shade over the top. Now we also have this corner route. He's going to turn right into your zone. Remember, you're going to be user it. So I got two controllers, so I can't really show it. So my user is going to be more over here. And I'm going to come down and follow that route to the inside shoulder. I'm going to follow him to the inside shoulder. And once he shows me his route, he's breaking to the left. I'm going to come back over this way, okay, with my user. I'm watching anything from the tight end that might come across the middle of the field or anything over here that might break back to the field. So right there, we have the adjustment, boom, interception, shade over the top, boom. Now we got the curl flats on the field. Now we're going to go hard flat, and then we're going to do our backside adjustment. So we have that Mabel hard flat. You can even bring people in. You never have to let your guy stay where the computer is at, okay? You can always move people around. Now, on the offensive side, we're going to do a zig with a corner route, okay? And then you know people are going to be stemming corner routes down on this side they might stem this guy down on this side a lot of ways to manipulate your zones so my user is going to come down and follow that route or anything they break across we're going to have our pressure and i'm looking for this is my user area i want him to go to my uh hard flat adjustment so once they hike the ball i'm going to come down right here throw it to that hard flat adjustment and that's how you play defense now we're going to go over other adjustments you can make so let's say your opponent is trying rpos so we're going to come out in rpo and we're going to use this same example all right so we got our defense set up hard flat do the backside. i even kick him out a little bit so we have our adjustments you can even move him a little bit i like to always touch somebody and move them so i would shift my line and then you can also run commit. Remember, I just showed you in the last video, you can run commit if you want to. Anybody in the zone is going to run commit. Run just in case. We do the run commit, come through the gap right there, make them cut back. They're going to miss tackles and stuff, but we're going to have the run all taken care of, and we're going to have the RPO. Okay, so once we come out here and look, we have that guy true to the RPO. So look at him. He's breaking down to the RPO. If he throws that, he can he can just jump it. You can click on, he can jump it, or your computer can jump it, okay? So, boom, run is all stuffed. He tried to cut back, he broke a tackle. Great run defense. So let's do that again. It's real easy. So what are we going to do? We're going to go hard flat over the top, close that in, then shade over the top. Boom, turn them into curl flats. So we have a true five yard. Move this guy, true five yard. If the running back goes out, we right there. I'm also going to run commit. You can sh uh, shift your alignment. It's a lot of different things you can do. Now, if it's a run or RPO, I'm right here to help. I don't want to get picked up by the blocker. I want to see what gap he's going to do, if he's going to cut back, if he's going to try to spin, juke, anything like that. I'm just right here, ready to see the gap, and I'm coming right there for the tackle. Now, let me know in the comment section what else you need help with. This is a basic defensive breakdown. 